Hello, community. Here the new file search service by Google. I upload two PDF. One is about dark matter, the other two. And here, if you're not familiar, file storage is a free rack. It is storage and embedding free of charge. You just pay 15 cents per million token for the first indexing. Here, simple code implementation. You can change the model whenever you want. So let's go here to this. Of course, we do it here in an app development because you can integrate it to build your own app with this file search. So remember, it is rack done by Google for you, hosting by Google. It is just great. So I uploaded to PDF and I say, hey, explain the phenomenon of dark matter and when we encounter this term. So Google now builds here a complete vector store for you, a new mathematical space. And it tells you, hmm, dark matter here, if I just look here at the cosine similarity here of the embedding, is primarily in astrophysics, you see? But I uploaded a second PDF where dark matter for the very first time is mentioned in the eye. So I say, but we also use the term dark matter here for AI science. No? And now is Google really overriding its parametric knowledge and says, yes, I have additional information. And it does it. It says, yes, success, dark matter is used in AI science. It is the intellectual dark matter omitted for our scientific records. But we have it. It is tried here for a compressed map of human knowledge. It is kind of an <laughs> exhibit dark matter blindness. So it takes the information and it integrates it as a rec system. And I say, hey, what are similarities? So what I do now is I want a thematic clustering in this vector space to be expelled out directly here. And I want it. Google builds this for me. It says, great. So breakdown of similarities. This is great. Astrophysics, dark matter, AI research, intellectual dark matter. It really compares it now. Top one, invisible influence. Real nice. Second, structural support and connection cosmological dark matter and AI dark matter. How is it connected here in cross-discipline links? Difficulty in access and observation. What a great idea. Dark matter in the universe is not observable. Dark matter in AI is exactly not observable. So it really compares here from the vector space. You have all the source taxes here from the original PDF. So you hope that it has less hallucination. Everything is available for you with the sources. And I said, can you provide references to dark matter in the eye? And I know there's only one study. And I uploaded this study as the second PDF file. So let's see this. Normally, we don't expect this because this is just a vector space. So it says, okay, definition, dark matter in knowledge, just gives me again a little bit of the background from the second PDF. Cosmological dark matter, we know about this. Dark matter blindness in LLMs and explains a little bit more from the second PDF. Great. And it gives me now the document also highlights here long chain of thought based methodologies, logical chain of thought as mean of uncovering knowledge dark matter. So it's referencing and the transform qubit is here in this paper, the example. But I just want to have here the real link and it's somewhere in the source. Yeah, but I say, can you provide the archive link? And now this is really interesting. Can it go there? Yeah, there's a link, but is this the correct link? Why is this hallucinated link? So you know what? We just click on this link. We say, okay, copy, go there. And here we are. Let's check if this is really the one we are looking for, access PDF. Yes, this is absolutely the correct archive paper, last of October 2025. And I say, what other features we have in astrophysics not identifiable in dark matter? So you see, I want to have now the complementary of a cosine similarity it says, where are those two thematic clusters, astrophysics dark matter and language dark matter different? And it really provides here the information from these two PDFs. Real nice. Dark matter in AI, metaphorical concept referring to unrecorded or implicit reasoning and connected scaffolding, fundamental physics decomposition, very nice in AI. Dark matter is an abstract concept. Observability, the darkness here, <laughs> astrophysics and AI, gravitational interaction as the primary interaction. So it really gives me here also the non-fitting, if you want, vector analysis here from our new vector space, from our new rack system that was built in the background and is hosted now for free on a Google somewhere cloud. Role in physics law, nice. Rack built for you, Rack as a service. And I say, hey, what are the latest insight into the expansion rate of the universe? Because now I want to see in the first paper, 
universe is not expanding pdf there are some insight is it really able to find also here the hidden knowledge that is a little bit hidden and it says it actually it finds it look the universe is expanding universe is expanding well established universe is expanding but there's a challenge here to a lambda cdm model yes and if you look at dog energy spectrometric uh, instrument on the bio and acoustic oscillation and the cosmic micro microwave background, we have no evidence for a decelerated ex expansion. This is one paper that goes against all the knowledge that is in the pre-training data of this LLM. So it does take this new external knowledge, it explains it, it says, hey, it is in contrast to what I know. But it is giving you here really the content of the PDF. Also, this is only one PDF that goes against all the knowledge here in its parametric knowledge or in its memory of this LLM. What a beautiful, beautiful feature. So this is working. But of course, you know, let's do here something and let's go here for the code system. Because you see on the left side, this is also, you can build immediately an app with this file search, with the rack by Google. So I say, okay, user experience here, show image as a thumbnail for document, show the file name and size for other files, use a generic icon, so now we can build icons and whatever. And I say, hey, I want to change the background to black and the type color to white, make it nice to read. And as you see, it writes here, index HTML, welcome screen, checkpoint and Gosh, here we are because we're in the preview mode. You see there's also the code mode. And now I say, hmm, compare the expansion rate of the universe with the rack performance of the world models because now I uploaded here a second paper in a new chat. And now I want to see, is this still available? No, it is really gone. Cannot be compared. I have no information here about the rate of the universe. So the moment you start a new chat, you build a new vector space. And it tells you here, look, for the paper LLM world models, I have all the information about notebook LLM and LLM synthesizing rack, but this rate of universe is not anymore there. But now I go to the first paper and I only uploaded one paper and I say, why a rack system offering a better performance than ChatGPT with internet access with MCP protocols? And now it tells me rack is better than a general LLM with ChatGTB with internet access because it is grounded and curated in specific data. It has an enhanced factual comprehensiveness and evidential support. It has a better domain-specific expertise and it is, has an ability to handle specific data types. Transparent and verifiable. The RAC system are better than MCP protocols. So, after this live demonstration, let's come back to the main idea and we have a beautiful new publication. Let's talk RAG as a free service. Welcome to my channel Discovery AI and we have a beautiful new AI research paper. And here we have it published today, November 7, 2025, about here the evaluation of LLM world models here, a real scientific case study. Look at all these people here, Cornell University, Google, Harvard University, MIT, great. So what are they talking about? Now, what a coincidence that we have here, November 6, just a day ago here, that Google introduces here its free RAG system, where they say, hey, listen, all the complexity of handling RAG, we do it for you as Google. The setup and hosting and here the embedding models, we provide everything for you. And you know what? We are making storage and embedding generation at query time free of charge. And you only pay here a minimum amount for once indexing your files. And this is a fixed rate of 15 cents per million token. So you have a clear idea how much it's going to cost you if you have your domain knowledge in your local database or wherever you have it. Now, the authors now of this new study here said something real similar. We build a REC system, but at first we have to build a knowledge. No? So let's collect now for here one particular topic, high temperature superconductivity, HDS, we collect all the main papers of all the years, 3,279 papers. And we build a rack system with this. And of those papers, we have 1,726 experimental paper as the core knowledge base. Okay, this is not a rack base, forcing here the rack system to ground the answer in factual evidence. So you have two ideas. You have an LLM that can go out in the internet and search in the wild and come back with some crazy ideas from some Facebook posts or Reddit posts. Or you have human curated 1,726 scientific papers where a RAC system is built. So let's see what's the difference. 
And you have everything here by this human created here from all those beautiful theoretical physics topic. I'm not going to talk about it. And then they, humans, they cur curated here questions. They said, hey, what is the evidence supporting your quantum critical point scenario here of corporates? Explain. And they watched here the result by the AI scientist, also by Notebook LM, and they built a particular visual graph rack systems. And they said, great. They also defined the humans that, hey, for particular topics, we expect the following answer or pieces of information in the answer because these are the most important information. So in the answer, if this is missing, we can tell you as humans that the AI is not doing a good job. The AI is going somewhere else, but it is not focusing on the real understanding here of HTS. So what are the results? And unfortunately, it's not as beautiful as you might expect uh, because, yeah, they also built a custom rack system with visual encoder. Never mind. So here we have the result. So you see we have JetGPT, Perplexity, Claude, Gemini, LLMs. The first four are LLMs with API calls to the internet. And then we have two dedicated rack system where those 1,726 scientific paper of HDS were built for, were integrated into the rack system. You have a commercial product, a notebook, LM by Google, and they built their own visual graph system. Now, they evaluated this on, the model provides multiple perspectives when the community is not in agreement. So if you have absolute brand new novel data, how good does it fit here the standard model? And you know what? Notebook LM has an exceptional performance. Second, is the response by the AI science scientific system complete and not missing any known experimental facts? And humans validated this. And look at this, Notebook LM was really outperforming all other systems. Only here, when they said, hey, is it a relative brief and clear answer, so concise, that Notebook LM in a deeply scientific topic was kind of rambling and repetitive and the other LLMs, given their better, let's call it linguistic training, outperformed here, yeah, Notebook LLM. But there was more. There was the responses based on a collection of experimental evidence reported in the literature. So is it really based on the archive paper or whatever paper you have in condensed metaphysics that is the literature, the go-to literature? And look at this, Notebook LM outperformed here the other models. Amazing. But unfortunately, I have to tell you, we have to take it with a grain of salt. Because all of this beautiful human cooperation, look, Cornell University, Google, Harvard, Johns Hopkins, CRNRS, Swiss, Stanford University, MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Brockhaven University, Seoul, South Korea, it took time. It took so much time. It took more than half a year. So the system they tested when they started was a ChatGPT 4 Omni, a Perplexity, a Claude 3.5, not the 4 generation, and a Gemini 1.5 and not the 2.5. And those LLMs had access to, via API calls, for the ChatGPT system was Bing Search API, and for the Gemini system it was the Google Search API. But unfortunately, since it took so long to evaluate and come up with this human coordination, that those data are now more than six months old. Plus, there was the second group of the rack system. Now, and we had here the classical notebook LM, where it's a Google product where they built here a vector space for you. You upload your PDFs, as I've shown you, and they built a vector space, a complete rack system for you, and then you can chat with your uploaded documents. Plus, they built here a multimodal rack, which was not so successful. So you see, and then they had here the results. And also it's half a year old. But you know, I have a feeling that I have, from my experience, I know the difference of a JetGPT4 Omni to a JetGPT5. Well, how massive is the difference? And how massive is the difference from a Gemini 1.5 to a 2.5? Because I would argue a 2.5 is much better than a 1.5, but a jump from a 4 Omni to a 5 was not that amazing. So, it's not really the latest data, but the trends are interesting. 
So if you think that this was done December 24 to March 25, so we have minimum half a year lag. What are the results of the orders? They tell us grounding is king. If you really want to have a trustworthy and accurate ER in specialized science domain, REG is really the source for a high quality knowledge base. It's not an option, it's absolutely necessary. Because they saw here all the LMs that were sourcing here from the open web with any API calls, unlimited time to search and whatever, they came back with biased, outdated and non-scientific sources. It's nice to have a Facebook post about high superconductivity or I have a Reddit idea, but it is not a scientific resource I would trust. So rendering here all more or less unreliable for serious research. And the authors tell us LLMs are surface reasoner. There's a significant weakness in forming here in the LLMs deep conceptual connections. Because they were looking here especially for quantum critical points, but also for papers that are real close, but are not using here the exact phrase quantum critical points, the API searches here failed to return similar papers. And they said, hey, in our understanding, those LLMs, half a year old, are more or less pattern matches, not yet true conceptual thinkers that really understand what we are talking about. And they said, you know what LLMs are really missing? And this is here published here, November 7, 2025, LLMs require something that is they are missing, a deeply integrated causal and quantitative model of the world. Even for such a narrow scientific topic like HTS, LLMs fail in this because they don't have the scientific understanding of what they are doing. Now, this is now what a coincidence, no? that we have this new file search service by Google offering almost for free, and this study here published almost on the same day, about dedicated rack systems that are now so important. If you want to do science, listen, if you want to just do your homework or write a poem or write something else that is not scientific, not critical, you can go with any AI system. I think they're all really excellent. But if you want to do some real scientific work, you need here a verified knowledge base, an expert validated knowledge base. And you can have it in a classical rack system, you can have it in a graph rack system, you can combine this, whatever. But you have to have your validated knowledge base. Just to have the best GPT-5 or the best GPT-6 that has MCP protocol and agent-to-agent -agent protocol and can send out 200, 500, 1000 agents in parallel to the internet. This does not guarantee that this will become an AI scientist because it will collect all the garbage on the internet. So therefore, what a beautiful core insight and I kind of agree with them that they say, hey, if you really want to do deep scientific work, you have to have your curated knowledge, your knowledge base, your 10 papers, 100 papers, 1,000 papers from the universities you know, from the researcher you know, from all the institutions you have been cooperating, sources you really trust. And then you build any grounded rack system that you like. A simple a semantic uh, cosine similarity rack system, you build a graph rack system, you build any knowledge graph combination but you have to have this as the base of a trustworthy AI. Just to have 100 agents scanning the internet for all the BS is not a solution if you want to advance in scientific topics. And this talk was only about scientific topics. It's not about just some general topics, some small talk or whatever. I hope you enjoyed it. It would be great to see you in my next video.